The Minnesota Vikings remembering a tragic loss 20 years ago this weekend. It was August 1st, 2001, when Pro Bowl offensive tackle Corey Stringer died from complications of heat stroke suffered during training camp. Yesterday, the team remembering Stringer with his number 77 painted on the practice field and holding a moment of silence. Mm -hmm. Stringer's death was a wake-up call for not only the NFL, but football programs at all levels all across the country. And our Courtney Godfrey joining us now live with more on his death and how it changed the sport. Courtney? Yeah, Kelsey, you know, Corey Stringer's death was truly a turning point in the game of football. The head coach here at Shakopee High School saying that Stringer is always in the back of his mind and he is constantly thinking about him as he coaches especially on these hot days. I reflect, reflected back on my years in college in high school, I thought about all the just death runs, if you want to call it, that I got put on in the sand and combat boots that they'd make us do and, and the no water, and I just went, wow. When a seemingly healthy NFL star died at training camp 20 years ago, Ray Benton was doing what he still does today, coaching high school football. He says Corey Stringer's death changed the game. You know, if a kid says, hey, I'm not feeling well, you know, my stomach hurts or my head hurts or anything like that. Hey, have a seat for a little bit. You know, we have the trainers come look at him. We always got a trainer on the field. Talk to him. Benton says it's no longer about pushing through physical distress, but a smart approach to training. The Minnesota State High School League implementing rules about how long or if teams can practice outside, depending on the heat index. Water is no longer used as a reward, and ice baths are readily available at most high schools. Benton says it's different from how he grew up playing, but he believes it's the best approach. We still take pride in being tough, right, on the football field, between the lines. We, we talk about that and what that means and how you do those things, but it's not, um, that's not tough, running kids through the dirt and, you know, you're not going to get no tougher. It was really just to be in shape. The NFL making several changes as well as a result of Stringer's death, including a rule that says that if a player is exhibiting any symptoms of heat stroke, that they need to take their temperature. And if it's 104 or above, they need to be submerged in an ice bath, a treatment that if Stringer received, he very well may be alive today. Reporting live in Chocopee tonight, Courtney Godfrey. Yes, such a memorable story at the time and I remember the frustration among doctors they could not get his core mm. cooled down in time to save his life. That helpless feeling and knowing that it could have been prevented but also um, it did make high schools, colleges yeah. across the country you know take note and change uh, for the better.